Yeah, thank you. There's another delay in the murder trial of a man accused in the murders of eight members of the Roden and Gilly families. Opening statements were supposed to begin tomorrow morning in the trial of George Wagner IV, but there was word this afternoon that someone involved in the trial is sick and it's being delayed a week. The victims were shot to death six years ago over what prosecutors say was a child custody dispute. Local 12's James Pilcher reports on what we can expect. George Wagner IV possibly faces the death penalty for his role in the 2016 killings of seven rodents and Hannah Gilly. That's despite prosecutors agreeing he didn't actually kill anyone that night. Lead prosecutor Angela Canepa made that startling stipulation during a hearing last December. The state is willing to um, agree that um, that George Wagner was not the, the uh, shooter of any of the eight individuals. Under Ohio law, someone can be sentenced to death for aggravated murder if they help plan it or cover it up. Investigators previously testified George voted to kill the rodents at a kitchen table meeting with his brother Jake and parents Billy and Angela Wagner. The brothers were also apparently recorded on a wiretap discussing the crimes afterwards. Still, the death penalty could be tabled if younger brother Jake testifies against George. Jake pleaded guilty to all charges last year in exchange for life in prison for he and his family if he takes the stand. That hasn't happened yet, however, so George's trial is still moving forward as a death penalty case. Prosecutors say Jay confessed to killing five of the victims and that Father Billy killed the other three. Angela Wagner also pleaded guilty to helping plan the crimes, agreeing to testify as well. George's lawyer, John Parker, argued unsuccessfully to get the audio of Jake's confession excluded from the trial. The state made a deal with the devil, basically. And now he's the person that, that is most responsible for this. He's the actual killer. He's the actual shooter. He's the one that snuck into these homes in the middle of the night and shot the victims in the head. James Pilcher, Local 12 News. Now that trial is expected to take six to eight weeks and will now begin on September 12th. Local 12 will stream the proceedings in their entirety at local12.com. James will also tweet from the trial. Follow him at James Pilcher.